and I think some local flood problems and difficult driving conditions at least for the next six hours because the band of rain is continuing to slip its way gradually down to the southeast. Thankfully that rain moved away from Cumbria, so those rain affected areas, those flooded areas, gradually improving through the night. But there is another band of rain rapidly approaching from the west, and that'll bring yet more rain through tomorrow. But it will be quite fast moving, so hopefully that rain won't be quite so prolonged. Now this area of low pressure, as it moves into the near continent, starts to bring in much colder air. If we concentrate on temperatures initially, we can see that around these areas of low pressure, northeasterly winds will bring a real change in the temperatures. Now watch this area of blue because this is the daytime temperature below freezing getting closer and closer through the weekend. The early part of next week could see figures very close to freezing across parts of Britain as well as much of northern Europe. So a return to winter after the spring-like conditions we saw in the south today. Now that main area of rain may take a while to get away tonight and behind that some mist and fog patches and also a few wintry flurries likely across parts of Scotland where here we'll have the lowest figures as well down as low as minus 2 Celsius. Now that rain will gradually move in from the west during the course of tomorrow. There may be a brief dry start and a little bit of sunshine, but the rain soon gets going and through the afternoon, crossing much of England and Wales, across much of Scotland as well. And over the high ground, it could give some sleet and snow as well. So some brightness in the east, but it won't be long before that cloud moves across. Some showers to follow on behind. With the temperatures in the south no higher than 9, 9 or 10 Celsius, a lot cooler than it was through today, 5 to 7 degrees in the north. And by Friday, with northerly winds getting colder, with a band of rain gradually pushing southwards. That's all from me. Have a good evening. Now, just before the X-Files, here's an update on tonight's National Lottery draw. The six winning numbers are confirmed as 2, 11, 18, 21, 23 and 47 and the bonus number is 27. Early indications show that there are two jackpot winners, each winning just under two million pounds. A time of war. The trouble with Scotland is that it's full of Scots. A time of passion. You tell your king that William Wallace will not be ruled and nor will any Scot will I live. <laughs> The story of one man's fight for his country's freedom. Mel Gibson is Braveheart. Tomorrow, 9.30 on BBC One. Two comedians take up the challenge of the commentary box for BBC Sport. What you've got to do is make it sound really dramatic. Oh! You've got to leave yourself room to go one octave higher. Oh! There's advice from the best in the business. Your knowledge of racing is crucial. What a clue. Absolutely clue. If you get it wrong, nobody ever forgets. A dream assignment. Six jobs on the line. They're obviously enjoying this day out. <laughs> I need a bigger telly. Hale and Pace in Jobs for the Boys, tonight at 10.15 on BBC One. A deadly computer virus with a sense of humour. First on BBC One, it's surreal and it can only mean one thing. They're back.